Basketball season has officially begun for the BSU women. The Beavers are 1-0 on their young season, but after a 7-20 campaign last year, they're looking to make a big step forward this season. Beginning her second season as head coach of the Beavers, Chelsea DeVille says she's pleased with the progress her nine returning players have made from a year ago. Bringing in seven new kids, they knew that there wasn't second chances going to be coming around every game. It was get better or you are going to potentially lose minutes or lose a spot. And they took that very seriously. I'm proud of how they came back. I think everybody's bought in a little more this year than we have the last couple. Everybody kind of knows the ropes and even the freshmen are learning faster than what everybody did last year. It's not everybody learning, it's just a select few. DeVille and the Beavers added seven new players this offseason, but even with four seniors on the roster, she still considers this a young team with some growing up to do. We are still uh, a young team trying to mature yet, and now bringing in this many new faces, that can slow it down a little bit too, but I have a lot of um, trust in you know each kid's role when they do it right. We just got to put it all together, listen to details that she tells us to do, work hard, um, put 40 minutes together because we have a lot of talent and we just got to put it all together. However, with four returners who shot at least 34% from deep and five six-footers on the roster, the team believes they can be a force to be reckoned with. This year we don't have a non-threat out there where they can just double down or you know take something away. They're going to have to pick and choose and it's our choice and it's our focus and decision to be disciplined and make the right read out of that. But only if they can consistently play strong on the defensive end of the court. And when we do that, I feel very confident in how we can potentially make some upsets or you know, be in more games this year, but I'm not going to give us enough credit until we start proving it day in, day out defensively in practice. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.